Howdy, fellow YouTubers. My name is Bob Straight. And today, I'd like to talk to you about uh, Battlefield 4 uh, and everything that I know, um, my opinions on it, uh, whether I think it's going to be a fantastic game or a bad game. Uh, as of right now, there's been a whole bunch said about it. I just, like today, like a few hours ago, they just released the official video for the uh, new battle log features and after watching that video I am super pumped and that video actually inspired me to make this video. Now we all know that Battlefield in its essence is a fantastic game. Uh, I, I play the game all the time and I'm sure the majority of you people do too. What Battlefield 4 is bringing to the table is a more conjoined experience with all of your friends. Uh, I just got through watching the uh, new thing they announced, the battle log, the new battle log, and holy crap, are you gonna be, you're gonna be able to set up like custom challenges with your friends, uh, and y y you're, you'll be able to see like how you rank in your area and just some of the coolest things that I have seen brought into a game. Now it seems like the majority of this will be handled on either your PC, your phone, or your tablet. Now I personally don't have a tablet, but I always have a monitor right next to me, uh, so I will always be able to have a big map view on a monitor, and so that is really cool to have uh, my, my PS4 plugged into my TV and then have a specific monitor just for my mini map or not mini map it's actually the entire full map and from that you can actually like designate targets and um, you know m mark the uh, the objectives uh, so that your squad can you know get where they need to and it's just a really cool concept that I really hope they don't screw up. Now the reason I say that is because when they bring new technology in or something like that, there's a concept that they didn't think of or uh, whether it be the technology is faulty. Something bad usually happens when they bring in something new with this. So I think I'll wait until Battlefield 4 comes out that I make my real opinion on the new battle log system and everything. Uh, now onto the Battlefield 4 side. Uh, they have a whole bunch of new guns. Uh, I hear that the helicopter physics are a lot different. They're harder to fly, but they're way more realistic, and you can do much more damage with more skill. And I really do appreciate games uh, that give more to the players that have skill uh, instead of rewarding the players who, you know, don't. When I look at Battlefield, I think of realism. Uh, and another thing that they did was with the tanks, they made them a lot more uh, sluggish and uh, harder to dart around corners. And uh, I, I remember seeing a, a jeep that would, when it turned, it almost flipped over. Uh, and that is like real physics and realism. Uh, and I'm glad that they can do that with Frostbite 3. So another thing I've noticed that not a lot of people are talking about are the explosions. Now, in all the footage that you've seen, there have been these massive, like, fiery looking explosions. Uh, right now, the explosions kind of look lame. Uh, or, okay, lame compared to Battlefield 4. Uh, you can just feel the explosion. Uh, you get particle effects, amazing particle effects. I think they did something weird with the particles and now uh, it can be like foggy and just all this really like geeky uh, <laughs> uh, 3D rendering stuff that's really hard to duplicate in, in you know, rendering engines and it, it's just something that computers can't do easily. Uh, and so I thought that was some amazing work on DICE's hand. Now in everything that I've seen, uh, I think Cha Boy did something uh, with it, but the AC-130, uh, from what I've seen, that thing is not overpowered at all. Uh, if it's driven by someone who knows what they're doing, uh, you can't actually drive it, but if you shoot the guns uh, and someone knows what they're doing, it, it can be almost a game changer. Uh, but from what I've seen, it's not going to be anything like it was in Battlefield 3. Um, one of the main things is it's up really freaking high. Enough to where I don't think you can reach it with a helicopter. Uh, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. 
uh, because that means it, it's going to be a little harder to take out. There are also UAVs and like counter UAVs and uh, how all that is controlled is say you own A, B, or C. Each one of those has a different thing and then your commander, uh, and if you don't know what a commander is, it's one dude on your team uh, that is controlling like all of the counter UAVs, UAVs, AC-130s. Uh, I don't know what else they can do. Um, I think there's like a tow missile and just a whole bunch of really cool things. Uh, and if you have a bad commander, that m that may mean that you lose. Uh, and I, I'm not okay with that because they're putting way too much power in one person's hand. The ability to be able to change the entire outcome of a game by one person. Uh, I hope that they, you know, restrict uh, what exactly the commander can do. Uh, so that, you know, it's not a game changer if you have a bad one. Uh, and if they do, I really hope that they implement a, like, get this commander out of here vote thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's how that's gonna be. Um, I hope they don't, uh, keep us with, you know, shitty commanders. We can get rid of them. So, that is an aspect that I wish DICE would put in there. Uh, and if they don't then at least bring down, you know, what the commander can do. Something that has been talked about a lot, and I think I may put my opinion in on it, is suppression. And the fact that uh, suppression doesn't really affect your aim. Uh, and, you know, different guns actually do more suppression, unlike in Battlefield 3, everything kind of seems the same. Uh, and I think that's going to bring a new aspect to sniping in particular. Um where nowadays two snipers shoot at each other they can't shoot at each other for another like five six seconds because they're both that they, they you can't shoot shit when you're suppressed now and it makes me angry and i hope that battlefield 4 gets it the hell right because i'm gonna be angry if i'm gonna be shooting at someone and my bullets be going blah, 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 all over the place and then they don't get where i tell them to freaking go you stupid bullets Ah! I think the water vehicles thing that they did is a really cool concept where uh, not, not only are these water vehicles, I don't exactly know what they're called, are really powerful uh, in the ways, but uh, since they are water vehicles, you can only move them in water, so therefore they're only good on the outskirts um, of, you know, where the water is or whatever. Uh, and how you eject is one of the coolest things I've seen is you actually eject into a jet ski and then drive off as if you're just tootling the lake. <laughs> and it, it was it was really funny and really cool to watch them do this. And <laughs> I, I'm still laughing to this day. So something I almost forgot to talk about is the counter knives. Uh, and if you don't know, if you come up on someone and they try and knife you, you can press a button and counteract that knife. And instead of them killing you, you kill them and you take their tags. Uh, and um, as far as we know right now, any knife is like that. They, uh, and I really hope they don't screw this up because uh, even if you do come from the back, uh, they can still take your tags. Uh, and that's kind of been an unclear area. They, they've failed to like specifically answer our questions. So please, DICE, don't fuck this up. Make it so that you can't counteract from the back or else people are not gonna knife anymore whatsoever when you could have when you could have easily just shot them because i absolutely love coming up on camp and snipers i love teabagging them i love knifing them and then i love uploading it and then i love sending them a message saying quit camping uh and then the youtube link yes i've gotten a few hate messages so what exactly do i think of this game well uh, I think this game is going to be a fantastic game, no doubt it's going to look fantastic graphics wise, uh, especially with the new consoles, they can do so much more, uh, and you know, someone like me who knows how rendering works and how engines work, uh, it's just going to be one of those, one of those perfect games that falls in line, you know, graphically and gameplay wise, and I, I hope that, you know, everything that I've said bad, about what they might do, they don't do. Uh, like the the knifing thing, I just went on a complete tirade about that. Don't screw up suppression. I kind of do like the fact that it makes your screen blurry. I like having the noises of bullets whiz past your head. That's 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 realism right there. 
Uh, I like how they dumbed down the tanks. Something I didn't talk about the tanks. Um, and, you know, like every vehicle, uh, they actually run out of ammo. Uh, specific ammo. And the only way you can get back that ammo is uh, with a ammo crate that the uh, commander has to supply. And so, again, you can have a really bad commander, and now you don't have any tanks to use, and you're kind of screwed. There's so much more to this game that I can't possibly name everything. Uh, so if you do want to know everything, I urge you to go check out uh, Level Cap's videos. Uh, he does some fantastic breakdowns of all the gameplay, uh, and those were like a month or two ago, so... You may have to go searching for them. Um. If you have any questions, please put your question in your comment in the comment section below. Uh, let's see, a word. What do I have here? Uh, put the word uh, external. Put the word external, E-X-T-E-R-N-E-L, in your comment in the comment section below so that I know that you made it to this part of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitter and my Facebook. Um, I update when I stream on those, usually. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really help me out. That is all. Dude, Grandma's house. Dude, Grandma's house. Oh my gosh, I'm such a bad shot. Thank you. We've lost control. We got an Uber in the barn.